Look up, please. So look up, please. Look up, please. How do we solve this question? What do we do? Please watch this. To solve this one here, of course, variable separable. I can see the x terms and the y terms. I want to move the x to the x terms and then the y to the y terms. Merely inspecting this, I know that this man comes down. Yeah? This 1 plus y squared comes down. The x goes up here. In essence, I'll be having something that looks like dy all over 1 plus y squared is equal to the x goes up. I have what there? the x all over 1 plus x squared. I have this. Next up, integrating both sides, integrating, I have the integral of dy all over 1 plus y squared is equal to the integral of 1 all over 1 plus x squared dx. I have this. Oh, sorry, the x over, sorry. The x over this. Now, let's separate them. Please look up, look up, look up, look up. Separating them, I have integral of 1 all over 1 plus y squared dy is equal to integral of 1 all over 1 plus x squared dx. If I integrate 1 plus y squared, what do I get? How do I integrate this one? How do I work on this? What do I do? How do I work on this? What do I do? They forgotten. You forgotten inverse trig differentiation. Forgotten it. You've forgotten that if y is equal to sine inverse of x, that the y dx is equal to what there? 1 all over root 1 minus x squared. You've forgotten that if y is equal to cos inverse of x, the y dx equal to minus 1 all over root 1 minus x squared. And that if y is equal to tan inverse of x, that the y dx is equal to what there? 1 all over 1 plus x squared. I've gotten this. <laughs> In essence, if I integrate 1 all over 1 plus x squared, I'll have what there? Tan inverse of x. So, if I integrate 1 all over 1 plus y squared, you see what there? Tan inverse of y is equal to, this gives you what there? Tan inverse of x plus c. That's it. How do you get y here? What do you do? How do you get y here? What do we do? Huh? This is tan inverse of y equal to tan inverse of x plus c. How do you get y? What do I do? If I have sine inverse, how do I take this? How do I, what do I, how do I cancel sine inverse? Huh? Substitute. <laughs> you guys, you're not you're not really deep rooted, Kai. Yeah, you're not, no, I'm telling you now, you're, you're not really deep rooted. The previous set, when I when I was around, I used to teach them almost every time. Those guys were deep, like. Do I, uh, let me tell you now. You guys are not really that deep rooted. But, okay. If you have tan inverse, what's tan inverse? What does tan inverse mean? When you say sine inverse of x, what does it mean? 1 over sine of x. Of x. Crazy stuff, boy. 
in essence, if I want to cancel this, what do I do there? Divide by sign, so cancel this. You have x. So if you have tan inverse, you want to cancel it. What do you do there? Multiply by what? Tan. Multiply by tan. What do you get there? Tan of tan inverse of y is equal to tan of tan inverse of x plus c. We have this. From here, tan will cancel tan inverse. That's the concept. So the value of y is equal to tan of tan inverse of x plus c. Okay, now that's your answer. No. Well, except you want to take this and this and this, then it can cancel out. If I choose to expand, you have that y is equal to this and this. This will cancel this. That gives you x plus tan to c. Gives you what there? Tan c. But does it work like that? It doesn't work like that now. No, the way you do, the way you do expansion of trig functions is not the same way as you do normal expansion. What do I mean? Look at look at this. If I have three into a plus b, for instance, this is equal to what there? Three a plus three b. But if I have sine a plus b. This is not equal to sine a plus sine b. No. What does it give you there? Sine a cos b. Do you remember that stuff? Yes. yes. This will give you what there? Sine a cos b plus cos a sine b. That's trigonometry. So that's why you cannot just expand this. All right. That's about this. Next question, please. Get more by joining our Differential Equations channel membership or visit www.joniemanual.com slash courses and get the Differential Equations Made Easy course. Both links in video description.